In the late 1990s, as Universal was preparing for the launch of their second Florida park, Islands of Adventure, the attractions they were focusing on clearly leaned into an older teenage audience. With thrill rides like the Incredible Hulk Coaster, Jurassic Park River Adventure, and Dueling Dragons, Islands of Adventure had a plethora of rides catering to the growing market of older theme park guests that was underrepresented at other Florida parks. At the same time, Universal's original Florida park had a catalog of classic attractions but lacked thrill rides that appealed to older attendees. While there there are hundreds of shooting interactive dark rides around the world, none come close to recreating the magic of Universal Studios Florida's Men in Black Alien Attack. With its classic theme, over 120 unique animatronics, and the largest show building in Universal history at over 70,000 square feet, Men in Black continues to be one of the most thrilling and intricate experiences at Universal Studios Florida. The ride has stayed fresh and well-maintained in the almost 24 years since its opening, has a fantastic queue, and is arguably the best interactive attraction Universal Creative has ever developed, with it remaining light years ahead of Universal's newest attempt at a shooter attraction just on the other side of the park. Welcome back to another episode of Theme Park Lore, where today we'll be breaking down the history and lore of Universal Studios Florida's classic attraction, Men in Black Alien Attack. In seeking out licensed properties to utilize for Universal Studios Florida's largest expansion plot, many franchises were considered with the land first talked about becoming what would become Islands of Adventure's Jurassic Park. After plans for Islands of Adventure materialized and various areas were set in stone, Universal Creative then decided to pursue Sony Pictures about licensing Men in Black for a dark ride experience. While many options were looked at when deciding on the attraction's form, with an indoor coaster being considered in early plans, an interactive shooter ride was settled on after the ride its creative team saw the film's extensive use of interesting guns. Initially, the team set out to combine elements of the recently created enhanced motion vehicle featured in The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man, but after the success of developing Islands of Adventure's Cat in the Hat attraction and learning it would be difficult for guests to aim blasters with the complexity of the vehicle's movements, it was decided that the spinning ride vehicle would be reutilized instead. Developed again by MTS Systems and with Rod Millen's special vehicles theming each ride car, the attraction would be the first dark ride to combine two separate tracks and allow for guests to compete against each other in real time. While the attraction features a much simpler ride vehicle than the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man Six Degrees of Motion, the focus on spinning allows a slow-moving ride vehicle to feel intense while physically doing less. Utilizing game technology developed by laser tag manufacturers, guests wield infrared guns to shoot at the various animatronics they will encounter on the attraction. Developed by Advanced Animatronics, AVG, and ASI, each animatronic is unique and is fitted with an average of seven sensors for guests to aim at while experiencing experiencing the ride. While 47 alien creatures are based on characters in the Men in Black film, 80 of the ride's animatronics are original creations developed by Universal Creative and acclaimed creature designer Neville Page. Each vehicle can seat up to six guests, and with 44 vehicles operating at a time, over 2,200 riders may experience Men in Black alien attack an hour. Combined with infrared sensors, video game shooting mechanics, and clocking in at $70 million to build, Men in Black alien attack sought to utilize technologies already available in a brand new and innovative way. Based on the 1997 film starring Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, which in itself is loosely based on a comic book series of the same name, the film follows Agent J and Agent K, two members of the secret government organization Men in Black. In the movie, the agents are tasked at monitoring alien life on Earth and saving the world behind the scenes. After releasing to critical and commercial acclaim, many efforts were led to license Men in Black characters to various forms of media, from video games to comic books to an animated series, but none have had more cultural relevance and staying power than Universal's shooting interactive dark ride Men in Black Alien Attack. Themed to the 1964 New York World's Fair, a location from the film, guests are greeted with an exhibit called the Universe in You, Are We Alone? With posters asking if aliens exist on Earth, guests are ushered into the lobby of the exhibit before a secret elevator is revealed to take guests to the hidden Men in Black facility underground. After going into the large elevator, guests are introduced to the MIB program and brought into the beginning of the ride's queue. Encountering two alien bugs in the break room, guests make their way into the immigration control room where they can see two large animatronics monitoring a large screen. After entering the weapons room, many weapons from the film are on display and guests are able to watch the Doofus and do right Q video. Made specifically for the ride and featuring actors Will Smith and Rip Torn, the Doofus and do right instructional video explains how to wield the attraction's blasters and what to look for when on the ride. In explaining that riders who perform well will be inducted into MIB and riders who don't will be hit with the Neuralizer, Rip Torn tells an actor they will be able to pick up their baggage and carousel 
be a possible nod to the ride's original planned theming of the Orlando International Airport. Guests are shown where to aim at the animatronics in order to score the highest amount of points possible, as well as explaining the importance of the car's red button. After making your way down the stairs, guests will be ushered into the left or right side of the attraction. Boarding in groups of six, guests will either wield the noisy Cricket Model 2 or the Jumbo Judy, two guns that are cosmetically different but operate the same way. After going through the training range and firing at paintings of different aliens, a ship of aliens crash lands and guests begin the ride. Making their way through the first area of the attraction, the ride vehicle moves slowly as riders are introduced to the concept of having to find aliens hiding in plain sight. Being blasted by a large alien jumping out of a box, the ride vehicle makes its first spin around the track's first corner. Encountering animatronics both big and small, riders may be shot back at by the attacking aliens causing their blasters to be temporarily shut down and making the ride vehicle spin out. Splitting up from the second ride vehicle, guests are ambushed by six alien animatronics before making their way through the alien scanner. Revealing that guests on the accompanying ride vehicle are secretly aliens in disguise, riders are tested shooting the large target above the opposing ride car, which if hit will cause the ride vehicle to spin and temporarily shut off their blasters. Making their way to the final stretch of the attraction, guests are greeted by a camera feed to Will Smith's Agent J warning the largest alien he has ever seen is just up ahead. With it being the largest animatronic ever made at the time of the attraction's release, guests are tested at entering the mouth of the alien before pushing the red button, granting the first rider to do so 100,000 extra points. After spinning and exiting the alien, guest scores are average, revealing one of three endings, Bug Bait, Cosmically Average, or Galaxy Defender. If guests score below 150,000 points, they are greeted by an alien telling them they did not perform well enough to join MIB. However, if guests score over 500,000 points, they will achieve Galaxy Defender status and earn their very own black suit. Regardless of score, guests are hit with Will Smith's Neuralizer, wiping their memory and bringing them back to the Universe in You World's Fair exhibit before exiting the ride vehicle. Men in Black Alien Attack released on April 14, 2000 to critical acclaim, with many praising the attraction's ride system, its engaging gameplay, and its amount of high quality and unique animatronics. With the ride being Universal Creative's biggest and most ambitious project until that point, the ride's 28-month production timeline from start to finish is even more impressive. While some innovations were made, like the attraction's patented dual-track ride system that allows for both ride vehicles to move at two different speeds independently while still being able to track each other's movements, the attraction's main achievement was taking existing technologies like infrared game systems, animatronics, and dark ride tracks and combining them to make a never-before-seen ride system that created a world-class interactive shooting dark ride that has remained one of Universal Creative's best attractions of all time. While other interactive shooter dark rides had launched in other parks years prior like Magic Kingdom's Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, the utilization of MTS's spinning ride system as opposed to Buzz Lightyear's Omnimover system leads to an intensity that is lacking in other attractions. And even though Universal Studios Florida has rolled out dozens of attractions in the years since Men in Black Alien Attacks launch in 2000, the care that was put into the ride is unlike almost any other offering in the park. With Universal Creative's focus in the 2000s and 2010s on screen-based dark rides, the physical nature of Men in Black remains one of the most impressive attractions in all of Florida. While an attraction like Universal Studios Hollywood's Secret Life of Pets off the leash contains 64 unique animatronics, Universal Creative has still not attempted to pass MIB's impressive 127. Interactive dark rides are a medium Universal has continued to explore with attractions like Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge and Illumination's Villain Con Minion Blast, and while Mario Kart's AR glasses are very impressive and give a sense of immersion guests are unable to find anywhere else in a Universal park, Universal Studios Florida's Villain Con Minion Blast is miles below the quality MIB is able to bring. Men in Black Alien Attack's gameplay is fun and engaging, but the ride's spinning mechanic and the special effects are the main draw of the ride. Rather than being a video game that happens to move like Minion Blast's screen-based moving walkway attraction, the combination of gameplay with fantastic ride vehicles that still spin, unlike Islands of Adventure's counterpart, as well as its unique and memorable queue and fantastic character design, has led one of Universal Studios Florida's longest-running attractions to continue to be one of the greatest the park has to offer. Located in the World Expo of Universal Studios Florida, Men in Black Alien Attack is the only attraction left in the area after the closure of Fear Factor Live and Back to the Future the Ride was rethemed to The Simpsons Ride in 2008. Even though the landscape of Universal Studios Florida has changed over the years to more closely resembled themed areas of a park like Islands of Adventure, with the opening of Diagon Alley, Minion Land, Springfield, and the upcoming DreamWorks retheme of Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone, the resilience of Men in Black Alien Attack in an ever-changing park proves the attraction's staying power and success. With Universal Studios Florida's third theme park, Epic Universe, launching later next year, and its Ministry of Magic Dark Ride rumored to be the largest dark ride Universal Creative has ever attempted, it's clear that the creative
creative spark from past projects is still there. While Universal Creative was only associated with screen-based attractions for years, with them being the bulk of the rides that were being released in parks, in recent years Universal Creative has continued to surprise guests with intricate and well-themed attractions that have made its parks world-class destinations. Man in Black Alien Attack is a classic Universal attraction that is just as engaging as it was when it launched, and many hope it will continue to delight guests in the years to come. Let me know down in the comments what you think of Men in Black, Alien Attack, and thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you'd like to stick around for more theme park lore, and I'll see you in the next video.